I'm Pharmacist Ben, and it's time for another moment of truth. Life is fundamentally an electrical phenomena, so it should come as no surprise that there's a relationship between good health and electrical energy. This electrical energy, known as electricity, is composed of little pieces, really little tiny pieces, called electrons. How tiny is an electron? Well, for one of the electrons in my body to be enlarged to the size of an apple, I would have to be three and a half times bigger than the entire solar system. The ultimate source of all our biological electrons is the sun. And while most people think plants are the only living things that are solar powered, as it turns out, humans can also turn the sun's photons into biological electrons via the action of the pigment melanin. Still, while we can and should produce some electrons by exposure to the sun's glorious rays, the main source of electrons for creating the body's biological electricity is food. What we eat is broken down by the digestive tract into the basic carb, protein, and fat building blocks, and then the electrons they contain are stored in a molecule called ATP, which cells then use to do their biological work. What distinguishes quality food from junk foods is electrons, as well as the vitamins and minerals that facilitate the use of those electrons. Such foods are referred to as living, and they include fruits, veggies, spirulina, raw nuts, sprouted seeds, and grains. And unsaturated fatty acids, especially those found in EFAs, are especially electron rich. That's today's moment of truth. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.